All right, so preliminary conversations that we have with customers, uh, that's gonna cover, when, when I say preliminary, I'm saying before we get started, whether that's replacing a capacitor, completing a condensate system treatment, or installing a whole new system uh, for the installers, or bigger projects too, like evaporator coils. So this is going to apply whether it's a really small project, an approved um, scope of work while you're on the job site, or a proposed scope of work that has been approved and you're going to complete that portion of work via the proposal. Couple things, so we'll start with the service side. From the service perspective, you want, if, if you're on site proposing a couple different solutions for our clients, we want to slow that process down so they understand what you're doing, how long it's going to take, and how much it's going to cost. Does it include the diagnostic fee? What is the subtotal? What is the grand total? What is the payment type? What that's going to look like once the scope has been completed, right? So if you go there and it's an after hour fee, then you need to have clear communication that, hey, it's going to be the 215 plus the 89 plus the 120 and your grand total is going to be this. I can get started. Um, once I'm done, I'll collect payment. Is that going to be check, cash, or card? Right? You're having that upfront. That's your preliminary conversation that you're having with that client. So that way you are on the exact same page as far as how this is going to work. I'm going to provide you with a solution. I'm going to do this, this, and this. And in return, you're going to pay me X amount of dollars for the work that I perform. It's an exchange of product or of value, right? So that's what we're doing. And we want to establish what that looks like. It's much better <clears throat> to hit speed bumps or hurdles, since we're on that terminology from a month ago, early in the morning. We want to know, is there going to be a chance? Ah, I actually don't, I don't have my credit card and I don't have cash. You know, my husband has the credit card or my wife has the credit card, right? Now they have time to make a phone call and it's not holding you up, right? And now you're not stuck there like, oh, what now, right? So the office can call, get the credit card information, give you the green light, knock it out, provide them with that solution, make sure the office runs the credit card, make sure everything's good, and then you're done, you're out of there, right? So slow down, have that preliminary conversation. That preliminary conversation on that particular scenario for the service guys should be three minutes tops, two minutes, right? It's not a long conversation. It's just a really quick conversation. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's the total amount. It's going to be out the door. That includes this, 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 plus the diagnostic fee. If there's any discounts that apply, you can bring those up at that point. If they're part of our membership plan, bring that up and say, okay, deduct the 10% discount you get since you're a member. And here's your grand total. Two minute conversation. That's all. Quoted repairs. So that's another example of something we're going to see. It's going to be a bigger project. It's going to be a compressor. It's going to be an evaporator coil. It's going to be duct work. Something to that extent. A TXV a reversing valve. A little bit more involved. And you haven't had the money conversation. You haven't had the diagnosis conversation, right? Because you're coming into this after somebody's already diagnosed diagnosed it after somebody's had some money conversations, right? So you're kind of coming in a little bit blind, not completely. You've read through the proposal, you know the dollar amount, but still a preliminary conversation needs to happen. So when you get to the customer's house, hey, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, I'm here to perform X, Y, Z. The total amount today is gonna be $1,272. This project's gonna take me anywhere from four hours to six hours. Um, I have everything I need on my truck. Once I'm all done, I'll do a full test of the system, make sure everything's working properly. Uh, if we're all good to go, then I'll collect payment. Just so I know, will that be check, cash, or card? They tell you, okay, perfect. You notate that. Any other questions that you have for me? Any concerns, anything that we didn't answer from the office perspective or previously? Then they can ask you, well, are you gonna be doing a new line dryer? You know, does that include refrigerant? Does that? You know, what's the warranty on that? All repairs come with a one year parts of labor. That's your response. All of our repairs come with a one year parts of labor. If you have a manufacturer's parts coverage warranty, it'll run through that course. 
So let's say we're in year two when we replace it. If they have a 10 year uh, manufactured parts coverage, that part's still gonna be covered for the 10 years for the equipment uh, manufacturer warranty, right? But then we'll cover it from a labor standpoint for one year. Now you know all that stuff and you're having that preliminary conversation, answering any questions, complete the work, fill out the invoice, make sure everything's working good, get it perfect for them, answer any questions. Now you can collect the money, right? Money conversations for clients, for people in general, much easier to have before the exchange of value, right? Before you've completed what they're paying for. Once you've completed a repair, once you've driven off with a truck, whatever it is, you know, vehicle, whatever thing that you're wanting to buy, right? Once you have it and you feel like it's yours, and especially when you're putting it in somebody's home, they kind of feel like this is mine. So you want to think about that and just understand it's, it's going to be much easier to have those money conversations before, before it's done. Because once you do it, challenge that you could face with a money conversation is much greater. Do you want to pull out the EVAP? I mean, that's always an option. Do, do you want me to pull out the compressor? That's always an option. But from a really simple standpoint, remember the goal is to provide our customers with really good service, right? Provide them with something that's of value to them. So we just need to reestablish before we get started on that quoted repair, they've signed off on it. So from legally speaking, we're fine. But from a customer service communication standpoint, we wanna slow down, have that preliminary conversation that takes a minute or two, and reestablish the exchange of value. Reestablish, here's what we're gonna do, and here's how much it costs. We're in agreement, right? Yes, okay, perfect. And then you can proceed. Just reestablishing, building some trust, going over some details, answering any concerns or questions that that client has. Again, we're the professionals, we're the experts, and we wanna make sure that they feel confident in what we're going to do. That's how you're gonna have the quoted repair preliminary conversation. For system replacements, system replacements are big. They include a lot of work. It involves a lot of conversations before you've gotten there. Certain expectations have been set before you've gotten there. Dollar amounts have been predetermined by somebody else, not you. When you're going into that, it's gonna take a little legwork on your end when you're installing a system. Reading through that proposal, reading through the notes, looking at the before photos, and that's gonna give you 85% of what you need to know. As you get more experience, there's little questions like, oh, that's weird verbiage, what, what does that mean? Why am I bringing Wayne's coating? I have a quad breaker, this one says it's a different size, what am I doing, where, where's that going, right? If there's questions, then you need to do some of that legwork where you contact the person who wrote that proposal, who put that proposal together, right? Phone call works, that doesn't work, text message works. Phone calls tend to be pretty interruptive, meaning they can be on another line, they can be with a client, they can be you know, writing up a proposal. Phone call's fine, but that's usually for urgent communication. But a text message is fine. Again, we wanna figure that out early in the morning. Zach's smiling, I like text messages, by the way. I love text messages, shoot me a text. But we wanna figure that out early, right? We don't wanna to get to the job and start this preliminary conversation with the client and be like, I don't know that, right? We're the professionals, we're the experts. We need to do that legwork earlier. The, whoever wrote the proposal needs to communicate with you if things are unclear. Some cases they won't be, some cases they will be. But again, we need to figure that out when we're here, when we're at the shop, seven o'clock, 7.30. We need to know, hey, I need some more details. What are those details? Write down a little punch list. What about this? What about this? What about this? I see it says the grand total is this check payment, and then it says discount. Is that discount included in that dollar amount, or is that discount in addition to that dollar amount? I can't, I can't see that. Mostly, you're going to look at the proposal. Usually, the terms and conditions and dollar amounts and discounts are really detailed on the proposal. One thing that's sometimes confusing, sometimes discounts are in addition, sometimes discounts are included. So just notate that verbiage, you know, kind of upper right side in that area, just below the subtotal. What you pay Kalos. There's a section there, what you pay Kalos. Sometimes it so sh shows some financing stuff. Uh, you can kind of ignore that portion of it. But what you pay Kalos, there should be a dollar amount, bottom, bottom, payment type. If it says check, confirm that, you know, has all of the check discounts included. 
If it says credit card, make sure it doesn't have the check discounts included, right? Because we can have conversations with client where they're like, hey, you get a you get a three percent off for a check payment. Just because we don't have to pay the credit card fees. So we'll we'll just literally hand that back to the client and say, hey, that would normally run us 150 bucks. Here's a hundred and fifty dollar discount. You know, I don't care if it goes, you keep it in your pocket or the credit card company takes it. It doesn't impact me. It's just you know, that reduces our cost of doing business. So if you want to go that route, that's fine. Some people like the flyer miles, hotel points, cash back. The 3% cash back is pretty good if you think about, hey, let me write the check. When the sales guy is having that conversation, they may say, yeah, check's great, blah, blah, blah. So we put that in there, check payment. Then they go through the proposal. They still have the ability to select credit card. The notes and the call are going to be better. But if it says credit card, then again, upper right side, make sure it doesn't include a check discount. Never are they gonna get a check discount if they're paying via credit card or financing. Check discounts are gonna only apply when they um, are paying via check. That's some of the internal legwork that you wanna do. Are we doing new copper? Are we doing new drain line? Are we doing new platform? Does it have a concrete pad? Do, do we need a new disconnect? What's the location? Are we gonna do any duct work? Is it just strapping ceiling? The basic stuff, okay, got all that, right? Now you go to the customer. And sorry, I've drawn this out a little bit, but being prepared when you have this preliminary conversation, especially with installs, is gonna be super beneficial. As you do it more, it's gonna get easier and easier. Installs, the preliminary conversation will probably take five to 10 minutes, depending on how many questions there are, depending on if you're walking the customer around the job site. That's very beneficial to do. Remember, this is a big investment, something they're gonna do every 10 to 15 years. So it's not like, this happens all the time. It's not like you're doing a maintenance. It's not like you're replacing a capacitor. This is a little bit bigger deal, right? And when we enter that relationship with the customer where we install their new system, we're kind of taking care of them for the next two, three, four, five, six, ten 10 years. So we need to make sure we establish a really good relationship and install that system appropriately so that they're taken care of. Because we're attached to that client for quite some time, which is good. We want to make sure we continue to install equipment appropriately for longevity, because that makes the relationship long-term really nice, you know, really good relationship. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, uh, we're here to install the new air conditioning system. You can have the proposal right in front of you if you want. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a three ton, it's gonna be a 16 sear, two stage system, new thermostat, new platform top. We're gonna paint that out and trim it. Once we're done, new return box. A uh, new concrete pad on the outside. Uh, let's see here, we're gonna you know, inspect the ductwork, strap and seal that. Here it says you have a two year labor warranty and then the you know, manufacturer warranty on the, all the parts. Total today is gonna be 7,500 and you're paying via check, is that correct? Does that, does that sound right? Yeah, sounds good, okay, perfect. You, you wanna walk around with me, kinda go over anything, point out any questions that you have, and sometimes they'll say yes, and if they do, great. Any challenges you see, bushes, hey, can, can we trim this bush back? It'll help us work a little bit easier. Also, then it won't grow back into the unit so quickly. Okay, where do you want us to put the branches? Because sometimes it's just a little bit and you can throw it in the box, sometimes <laughs> it's like a whole bush and you, you wanna know, can I put that by the road? Do I put it, put it out here? Do they have an HOA that's gonna be mad if it's at the road for three days? So having all those little conversations, right? Really going into detail, planning out what your day is gonna look like and giving them kind of a rough time frame. Always plan for the worst though. Like on an EVAP, I said four to six hours. I don't know the last time it's taken over four hours unless it's super difficult, but you wanna say, you know, normally we should finish up, you know, four to six o'clock, somewhere in there. If things go really smoothly, we might get a little ahead of schedule, right? It's just like flights. You're always so happy when they're ahead of schedule. You pay the same amount, but when you get there a little earlier, you're happier, right? Project that it's gonna take a little bit longer. If it's gonna take a full day, that's okay, but we don't wanna under deliver, meaning take longer than we anticipate. Puts us in a bad situation. Customer starts to make plans. Customer is like, all right, what's going wrong? What's going wrong? Now they're starting to worry because they think, this guy th thought he was gonna be done by three and he's still here, it's four o'clock. What, what's going wrong, right? So then they start to worry, understandably so. We need to project on average four Ks, five, six o'clock. Most of the time you'll be done before that. The customer will be really happy with that. But if you hit a speed bump, if you hit a hurdle, you got the time. You don't have to panic, right? You don't have to go to the customer and say, you know what, it's gonna take longer than I thought. You just keep rocking and rolling, doing your thing, get the job done right, and they never know anything, any challenges arose, right? 
but you know. So you know it did, and they're fully satisfied. Then, when you go to collect payment, how'd everything go? Great. Everything's rock and rolling, working perfect for you. You want to do a walk around the job site? Any questions, concerns? So just point them out now and I can, you know, maybe make any minor adjustments. Go from there do the walkthrough. Perfect. Let me write up the invoice. Again, that's going to be the amount we discussed, 7,500 via check. So I'll write up that invoice and uh, I'll be in and give me about five minutes. Then you go write up the invoice, clean up the hands so you're not getting dirt on the invoice. Write that up. Really clear, precise communication that you're having, right? Preliminary conversations, that's where it all starts though. We have to do some internal legwork, but then having a quick five minute, 10 minute preliminary conversation on those installs, on those big scopes of work, it's gonna be super beneficial on the back end. You don't hit those challenges. Why aren't you done yet? Oh, I didn't know I had to pay today. Oh, let me just pay you with a credit card and then we get screwed because we didn't factor in the discount that we already gave them and included, right? And then that puts us in a really tough conversation because we call back, hey, Mrs. Jones, you owe us $150 for processing fees, right? Well, that's not a fun conversation. We would much rather have upfront preliminary conversations that creates clarity and sets the expectations for our clients and you. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.